Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use this button cover tool. It's really uh, fun, it um, helps you make these little covers, but you do need the actual button cover uh, hardware yourself. And this is what it looks like, these are the 29mm ones, but I also have a selection. I've got, I think it's 11, 15 and 19, and these are the 29, and I brought mine from Caraway Cottage. And you get packs of five for about one pound thirty, about one pound thirty, one pound sixty, depending on the sizes. So, like I said, this is what you get. So you get five of these, and five of these. So this is the button. This is the top layer that you put the fabric over, and this is the bit that gathers it all together and sort of clips it in place. And when you're doing the buttons, this is the back. So where you've got the ridges, you want to be making sure it goes in. So you've got this dip downwards because this is where the grooves of this which is the tool that like pops it in they fit all nicely there so that groove there fits in there and that sort of pops it together when you're making now on the actual packaging and this is really important because what people forget is when we don't read these we miss out on tools that actually help us so on the back of this there was actually a little cutout guide which was this i've cut mine down but as you can see, there was like this circle here and it literally gives you the sizes to cut to get the right size for each button. So what I did is I cut it down layer by layer because it was just a circle and the, the layers went down. And like I said, I did the 29, drew around that, 23, drew around that, cut it down to 19, drew around that and so on until I got all five of the sizes for the tool. And these are quite literally the perfect sizes for each of these to get the button piece cover to go round and gather enough so that it's not too baggy or too loose or there's like too much fabric so like i said do use that little guide because it is a really really good tool and like i said i think a lot of people just take the packaging and before you read it you just throw it in the bin so like i said take that and actually use it because like i said it is literally the perfect sizes for each of the one that the tool uses and like i said it tells you on these You've got the 11, 23, 29, 19 and 15 in the, the tool. And this cost me, again, it was from Caraway Cottage. You can also get them from Amazon. Uh, they cost about £3.50 £3. to about £3.00 at £4.00, depending on where you buy them from. But I'll put the links in the description below for Caraway Cottage for you. And what I did with mine, as you can see, I've just drawn round all my circles on the back of this super cute cotton fabric you can use any pieces of scrap fabric but as you can see you're not using a lot especially on the much much smaller sizes now if you want to make a bobble you can leave this little gadget in because that's where you would attach it to if you just want to make a sand button for like on a snap clip or a flower or something like that you can sort of press it out and you can take that out and remove it completely so like so if you don't need that and you just literally want a button just take that out and put it somewhere if you want to use it in the future and you still get that like I said if you want to make the hair bubble keep that in and I'll quickly show you how to use the tool excuse me so I'm gonna cut my little fabric circle and I'm gonna use the 29 because it's the easiest size to see and like I said I've just drawn around my 29 millimetre circle because like I said perfect amount of fabric for the size if you're doing a lot of these I learned a trick um, if you struggle like if you feel like your hands are not strong enough or when you like pressing down with your hands it's not making the click noise because the, the click noise is what you've got to look out for because that's what tells you that it's, it's, it's caught and it's going to stay together and not pop back open if you're struggling with your hands or you haven't got enough strength in your hand you can put it on the floor and sort of stamp on it and it clicks straight away it's much quicker and it doesn't hurt your hands or like hurt your feet as the same way it does your hands so there's a little trick for you i won't show you on camera obviously because it's kind of a weird shot but there's our perfect sized piece of fabric Look how cute those flowers are the other thing is with your designs if you ever want to test them if you put them upside down and have a look 
what you can see in that gap that is the main design feature that will be on your button so if you've got a design that's got like a little picture on or you've got like a cute little thing then use this as a guide of where you want to put your so you could use it and work out where you want to draw your circle by working out which is going to be like the center and then you can use that to like choose where you want to put your design on so with this bit you take this and you just place it on top and i'm going to make a bubble so i'm going to use the one with the grip him so take this bit try and keep it centered so you get even gathering both sides it's not quite centered so i'll just do that again there we go and as you can see you've got pretty much even all the way around excuse me and then I sort of push it in a little bit so you don't have any that sort of escape the sides. There you go. And then like I said, take it so it's facing down. And you place that on top. Now the other thing I like to do is sometimes you get like a little piece that's trying to escape. So just give it a quick check before you do it so you don't have any like that bags out and cause it to like loosen. When you've got everything lined up, you take your tool, like I said, make sure you've got your sizes at the top and bottom in the correct place. Place it on top. And give it a firm press. And when you hear the click, that's when you know it's caught. Mine still hasn't, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the foot trick. Because like I said, sometimes I don't have the strength. There we go. That's better. Heard the click this time. Did you hear the thump as my foot slipped off it? So there you go. There it is. And as you can see, it's nicely gathered round the sides. It's all nice and even. So that's what you get. And if you want to add a bobble, you need the skinnier ones. And I use the seamless bobbles. So where the seam is, this is what I do with mine. Pinch it like so, and pop that through, and then pull it the other way. So pull it so that you pull, so that the seamless stays near the top, and then pop that through, and there you go. You've got a cute button bubble set. Like I said, if you want to, you can just make buttons for your projects. I have got a little snap clip. I've got some more fabric snap clips I want to make. I'll just show you one. And then, um, I can't see it immediately, it's fine. Uh, but basically, I've got some flower snap clips that I want to make, and I want to have them centre to matching. So this will be perfect because I can use the same um, fabric as the flower and add the little snap clip button in the like 11 or the 15 millimeter and it'll just look really cute and finish finish it off but like i said it's super simple easy to use like i said use that little guide on the back of your um instructions i'll put a picture of it so you see what i'm talking about and like i said it is perfect for those sizing it's absolutely perfect to get exactly the right amount of fabric to make it look really pretty and professional so thanks for watching bye